This is another themed episode about transportation. Now in the past, we've done one that was songs about planes, songs about trains, and songs about cars. But in this one, let's cast off and set sail. Yeah, let's do songs about boats and the open water. You ready? Okay, let's drop the anchor, and then I mean, let's drop the needle. In 1961, there was a singer called Joe Dowell, and he had a big hit with Wooden Heart. All right, now I know, that's not a song about boats, but his very next one was, and it was also a big hit for him. You think you can guess what it is? I'll give you a hint. It's about a robot. The song is about Joe picking up two girls in his little red-rented rowboat. Here are some of the lyrics. I saw two pretty girls sunbathing on a pier. They wore jeans way down to here. I waved, they waved. They said they'd like a ride. So I helped them climb inside to share my little red-rented rowboat. Little red-rented rowboat. Not much better than no boat, but at least it will go when I row, row, row. At least it'll go when I row. As the song progresses, a fancy sailboat comes by and waves at the girls, and so one of the girls gets out of the rowboat and gets on the sailboat, leaving Joe with just one girl. And then a big motorboat comes by, and the guys wave at the girls, and so the other girl gets out of the rowboat and gets into the motorboat, leaving Joe all alone in his little red-rented rowboat. But at least it'll go when he row, row, rows. At least it'll go when he rows. In 1964, on his third album, Bob Dylan records a song about a boat. But in typical Dylan fashion, nothing's really straightforward. This one's actually about the apocalypse. So there's going to be rough seas ahead. We better batten down the hatches. Think back to 1964 and see if you can guess this Bob Dylan song. It's called when the ship comes in. Oh, the time will come when the winds will stop and the breeze will cease to be a breathing. Like the stillness in the wind before the hurricane begins, the hour that that ship comes in. In 1975, Canadian singer-songwriter Gordon Lightfoot read a story in Newsweek magazine about a horrific ship accident in the Great Lakes. All 29 crew members were sunk with the ship, their bodies were never recovered, and the cause of the accident is still unknown. It inspired Gordon to write a great song. Do you think you can guess the title? The song is The Wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. When supper time came, the old cook came on deck saying, Fellas, it's too rough to feed you. At 7 p.m., a main hatchway caved in. He said, Fellas, it's been good to know you. The captain wired in. He had water coming in, and the good ship and crew was in peril. And later that night, when his lights went out of sight, came the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. When you think about songs about sailing ships, you have to think about this great song, which was written by three very talented songwriters, David Crosby, Stephen Stills, and Paul Kantner. And the song was actually recorded both by Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young and the Jefferson Airplane. And it tells the aftermath of a horrific war. Think you know the title of this song? Yeah, of course, that would be wooden ships. And it starts with the first encounter between the people on the wooden ship and the silver people on the shore. If you smile at me, I will understand, because that is something everybody everywhere does in the same language. I can see by your coat, my friend, you're from the other side. There's only one thing I've got to know. Can you tell me, please, who won? Then the song tacks to the leeward and takes a turn. Horror grips us as we watch you die. All we can do is echo your anguished cries. Stare as all human feelings die. We are leaving, you don't need us. 
and it's a fair wind blowing warm out of the south over my shoulder. I guess I'll set a course and go. Then a few years later, Stephen Stills returns us to the sea with a great song about another sailing adventure. Now, sailors navigate by the stars. And I remember when I was just fresh out of college, we were renting a sailboat in LA and we would sail from LA to Catalina Island and back. And we learned to navigate by looking for the North Star because that's what you do in the Northern Hemisphere. Well, when you go down to the Southern Hemisphere, the sky is totally different. And I remember the first time I was down below the equator, I looked up at the sky. You can't even see the North Star. So they had to figure out another way to navigate down there. Do you think you can see it? Do you think you know the name of the song? Yes, the name of the song is Southern Cross. When you see the Southern Cross for the first time, you understand now why you came this way. Because the truth you might be running from is so small, but it's as big as the promise, the promise of a coming day. So I'm sailing for tomorrow. My dreams are a dying. And my love is an anchor tied to you, tied with a silver chain. I have my ship, and all her flags are a-flying. She's all that I have left, and music is her name. Then Stephen wraps the song up with his longing to find his perfect woman girl. I've been around the world. I've been around the world. Looking, looking for that woman girl who knows that love can endure. And you know, it will. Over in England, Cat Stevens is becoming a big international star. And when this song came out, I just naturally assumed, well, he's from England. The song has got to be about Viking ships. But he's actually been quoted as saying, no, it's about flying saucers. He says, one night I was lying back in bed and I saw this flying saucer shoot across the sky and stop over me. And then it sucked me up into it. When it put me down, I shot up in bed. I knew it wasn't a dream. It didn't feel like a dream. It was real. I know it was real. What Cat Stevens song is about flying saucers or Viking ships for that matter. The song is Longer Boats. Longer boats are coming to win us. They're coming to win us. They're coming to win us. Longer boats are coming to win us. Hold on to the shore. They'll be taking the key from the door. Mary dropped her pants by the sand and let a parson come and take her hand. But the soul of nobody knows where the parson goes. Where does the parson go? Everything about our next artist just screams flip-flops margaritas, a laid-back lifestyle, a missing shaker of salt, <laughs> and boats. And yes, I'm talking about Jimmy Buffett. He's written a lot of songs about boats, but this one combines two of his passions, not only boats, but alcohol. <laughs> what could go wrong? Think you know this one? The song is called Boat drinks. This morning I shot six holes in my freezer. I think I got cabin fever. Somebody sound the alarm. I'd like to go where the pace of life's slow. Can you beam me somewhere, Mr. Scott? Any old place here on earth or in space. You pick the century and I'll pick the spot. Oh, I know, I know. I should be leaving this climate. I got a verse but can't rhyme it. I got to go where it's warm but he still has time for one more order of boat drinks. Boat drinks. Waitress, I need two more boat drinks. I'm heading south for my dream sinks. I gotta go where it's warm. I gotta go where it's warm. Now we're gonna get two songs about boats from the Beach Boys. It's 1965 and they're working on an album and Al Jardine comes into the studio and plays a song for Brian Wilson that he thinks that the Beach Boys ought to record. It's a Bahamian folk song and it had just been recorded by the Kingston Trio. Now, Brian Wilson is not a fan of the Kingston Trio, so he says he doesn't think it's a very good song or a good idea. But Al Jardine is persistent, and so Brian decides to take a crack at it and change some of the lyrics around 
and see what he can come up with. I think he came up with a hit. Think you can guess the name of this one? As the song was recorded by the Kingston Trio, it was called John B. Sales. But when Brian updated it, he called it the Sloop John B. The poor cook, he caught the fits and threw away all of my grits. And then he took and he ate up all of my corn. Let me go home. Why don't they let me go home? This is the worst trip I've ever been on. So hoist up the John B's sail. Hoist up the John B's sail. See how the mainsail sets. See how the mainsail sets. Call for the captain ashore. Let me go home. Let me go home. I want to go home. Our second song about boats from the Beach Boys was recorded in 1973, and it was included on their album, Holland. And it almost didn't make it on the album. The song was written by Van Dyke Parks and Brian Wilson. The two had collaborated together for the failed album, Smile. And Brian wasn't sure that he really liked the song. At one point, he demoed it and almost gave it to Three Dog Night. But then he had second thoughts and decided, eh, let the Beach Boys record it. So they did, as I said, for the album Holland. Do you think you know the name of this song? It's Sail On, Sailor. I sailed an ocean, unsettled ocean, through restful waters and deep commotion, often frightened, unenlightened, sail on, sail on, sailor. You can really sense the Van Dyke Park's torrent of words caught up in the maelstrom of Brian Wilson's music. Caught like a sewer rat, alone but I sail. Bought like a crust of bread, but oh do I wail. Seldom stumble, never crumble. Try to tumble, life's a rumble. Feel the stinging I've been given, never ending, unrelenting. Heartbreak searing, always fearing, never caring, persevering. Sail on, sail on, sailor. And we will end our nautical sojourn by returning to Jimmy Buffett. Now he wrote a song about a dog and an old guitar and a boat giving a man hope. See if you can guess the title to this one. It's called Something About a Boat. And he starts singing about the praises of a boat. Something about a boat, sitting on the sea, out there in the wind, floating on the free, taking you around the world, bringing you back home. Gives a man hope. Something about a boat. Then we get him singing about an old guitar. Something about an old guitar and the way it still sings after all the smoky bars and the broken strings. Played a million songs, broke a lot of hearts, made some people stars, something about an old guitar. And finally, we get something about a dog, something about your dog sitting by your side. If you had a bad day, she ain't gonna run and hide. Just a wagging that tail, grinning that grin. Something about my dog makes her my best friend. Yeah, only Jimmy Buffett could write a song about a dog, an old guitar, and a boat and make you smile. Well, I hope you've enjoyed our little musical sea cruise. That was just 10 songs about boats. And I'm sure, as I always say, that you've thought of others. So if you have, leave them in the comments down below. I'd love to see what you've thought of. Thanks for watching, and I hope that you never get seasick, but you gotta keep a rockin'. If you like this episode, hit the like button, and you can also leave me a comment down below, and I'll respond to you. If you subscribe, we'll let you know when future episodes come out.